So a bit of sad news going on around the tennis world with Andre Burr calling her season of 2024 to an end. It's been a disappointing season with injuries and uh, just bad results all around. Of course, last two seasons, she's been really, really, really good in the top 10. She's fallen out of the top 10. Let's have a look at why she's pulled the pin on this season. So what Jabir had to say over on Instagram, this year has been extremely hard for me and as athletes, we know that recovery is part of the journey. Due to my ongoing shoulder injury, my medical team and I made the difficult decision to step off the tennis circuit for the rest of the season. While I'm taking time to heal, we're dedicating myself to charity work and ensuring that we make a real difference in the world. Thank you for all the support and I can't wait to come back stronger. And I'll see you back on court in Australia 2025. So there it is, not playing for the rest of the season. Now there's not too much left of the season you know you've still got the asian swing coming up and she wasn't probably going to qualify for the wta finals anyway so her season probably only has maybe a month to go anyway had she have played but yeah it's been a disappointing season you know she was top 10 for pretty much the last couple of seasons she made the grand slam finals the last two years didn't do anything like that this year and has just had bad luck with the injuries from the start of the season onwards so hopefully Jabur can get ready for next season and do well again because she is still one of the best players on the planet when she's healthy. We know that. We've seen that. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Jabur will be able to reach the heights of the last couple of seasons? Or do you reckon that maybe she's already peaked and that this rest of her career is going to be around that sort of 10 to 20 mark? But on Jabur, not playing for the rest of the season due to the shoulder injury.